today I'm going to show you how to make a farmhouse style stocking tag using some really cute chalk tags I found at Dollar Tree. And guess what? They're $1.25 for six. I can't wait to show you this project, but before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe so we can stay in touch. Hey y'all, I'm Amy Green with Amy and Art Designs, and I'm going to show you how to make stocking tags farmhouse style two different ways. Um, my friend asked me to make these um, tags. And I said, oh my gosh, those are the cutest things in the world. But I found these at Dollar Tree. So these are wood. They're um, a two by six and I painted them black and distressed them. But guess what? These are from Dollar Tree. They're um, six chalkboard tags in a pack. And we're gonna use these too. So we're gonna do it two ways. Um, what I've got, just the, the, the wood or the tags, you're gonna need, you're gonna need some jute. You're gonna need some ribbon. I've got this really cute buffalo plaid in black and white. This is from Joann's. I've got wood beads. I've got my wood bead needles and some pliers and this plastic razor. So let's go ahead and work on these and then we'll move over to the Dollar Tree ones. So I've already cut this vinyl and weeded it and I've got, um, oh, that was not, Gee, Ma, that was not good. We're going to fix this. Whoop, back it up. Well, I, okay, do not do what I did. Do Make sure you have rubbed your design down well so that doesn't happen. Especially when you're working with these really cute farmhouse fonts, guys. They are, um, you need really good vinyl and you need to make sure that you have um, done your work on your tool and really brandished them onto that vinyl, really adhered it so that, and then the same thing on your tool, right? All right, so we are just going to peel this off slowly. I've got my vinyl on transfer tape. Guys, I'll link the font down below, okay? So make sure you go down and grab this font. It is so cute. If I'm if I remember correctly, this is part of a font duo. So there's also a script that goes with this. I'm pretty sure this is farmhouse duo, but don't quote me on it. Look down below. Um, all right. Okay. So these are, I'm, I'm gonna seal these. So we're gonna put them aside till they're ready to seal. And we are going to do the same thing with one of these, okay? So, get our package open. Let's look at these. I've never used these before. You got to excuse my hands. I've been working all day painting and all the things. And I wish my hands looked beautiful, but they don't. So, look how cute these are. They are one, two, three, four, a little over four inches long and about two and a half inches wide. All right, so super cute. We're going to take this off because we are going to change this up. I love that they have a um, reinforced right here. This is reinforced. So what is it? a grommet? So, the, and this is pretty sturdy cardstock. So I think that you're going to be in good shape with those. If you um, take care of them, right? They're going to last a while. Come on. Well, this isn't wanting to peel. All right, so we are gonna, like I said, I've been painting, so my hands are a mess, and I guess if I, if I was gonna wait until everything was, so to my hands were perfect, I'd never make a YouTube video. When you paint and sand and work with your hands all day, they're not always looking lovely, it's just part of life. So these farmhouse style fonts can be really tricky to weed, mostly because they're very thin and it's just difficult sometimes to get that extra vinyl off without having it stick to them for them to pull up. So what you want to do is cut around your design as closely as you can, snip away any extra vinyl as you go, and make sure you're using those weeding tools. And then when it comes time to get your transfer tape on, just make sure you have brandished that or adhered that 
really, really well so that when you go to pull the transfer tape up, your, your design sticks. So when you go into to your software program to size your fonts, I would draw a tag this size. I always do that. Um, and if you can't draw this side, just draw it the box so that you know what size you're working with. I would suggest that because you can just use the drawing tool to do that. Okay. So let's see. Are we good here? We're going to take this off. Okay. Now I'm just gonna center this, I'm just gonna eyeball it. All right. Okay, my friend's name, they call her Kissy. She, her name's Christine. So a little bit of that black paper pulled up when I did that. So just, just be gentle with it, okay? Make sure you've got true transfer tape. Don't use something else. All right, part one, done. Now we're gonna take our jute twine. Now for stocking tags, um, I would advise that you go longer and the reason I'd like to do that is so that when they reach my customer, they can adjust them to the length they want. So I make them uh, 10 inches, right? So I want, yeah, I make them about 10 inches long on each side, so 20 inches long, and then they can do what they want with them. Okay, there we go. All right, so we are going to, this is a fun knot. You're going to take it around and tuck it up through. Okay. The little slip knot that you want to pull it way, way down. Okay. So there's your knot on the bottom of your um, stocking tag. We're gonna take our ribbon. We're gonna take, let's see, how big do we want our ribbon? And how big, we don't want our bow really big. Okay. So I have about, I have about 11 inches of ribbon. I don't need that much, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make an awareness ribbon, okay? And then we're gonna take it here and we're gonna put it right inside. I'm gonna scrunch it down. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make a loop around. We're gonna push it up. And we are going to cinch it so we want to cinch our bow down so you've got to cinch this down here okay so i'm going to pull up i know and then you're going to cinch it cinch your knot down okay All right, we've got that. Okay, so there's our ribbon. And now we're gonna add three. Three wood beads to finish it off. This is an easy one, guys. I'm pretty darn sure you can get, um, okay, a lot of Dollar Trees have a pack of 24 wood beads for a buck or a buck and a quarter now it's the dollar 25 tree i'm going to show you my trick with this because sometimes these holes are really small you're going to take your um pliers and just pull this through the hole okay 
I mean, it's a little forceful, but you gotta be a little forceful with it. So, and that one went right through. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we're gonna go up, <clears throat> excuse me, through the second, and my voice, the weather here is just, my throat's dry, my voice is dry. It's harder to pull it through this on the second side, okay? All right, make sure to use a plastic needle for this step. You don't want to use a metal yarn needle because it's going to make it so much harder to pull it through. And I am struggling for real with this one because those holes are not a consistent size and the jute is not a consistent size. So all that to say, use a plastic yarn needle, get you some pliers and go at it. Y'all, and that is it. And take this out, pull this down. I'm gonna trim my my um oh no I've got to I've got to cut my bows. All right, okay. So I'm gonna trim that evenly, and then these. Let's see, this ribbon. Let's see what it looks like if I do this. Oh, cute! That's what we're doing. We are gonna fishtail it. Okay, so I'm gonna. It's so thin. I've been staining wood too, which is why my, I don't know if you can tell that my fingers are orange. I wore gloves, but it just didn't. Ah, loving this. These are so cute. All right, I'm doing something called fishtailing, which means you fold the ribbon in half and you cut at a 45 degree angle from the fold down to the open edges and that gives you a fishtail. So if you don't know how to do that, you can check out my bow making video. I've got detailed tutorials on that. That is the, your stocking tag style for your Dollar Tree tags. And we're gonna do our wood ones next. So I'm gonna speed this up. It's the exact same process. It's just a different tag. And there's absolutely no difference in how I did the tops. I started with a slip knot. I made the awareness ribbon bow, smashed it down, tied it off, and then added my beads. And so whatever medium you use, whether you use wood or you use the um, Dollar Tree tags, same process, and it still turns out super cute. So you can do it two ways. Super cute, super easy. I absolutely love how these turned out. I always say that, but I just, they're just really cute. Um, these have been sealed with DuraClear. I'll put that down in the description. Um, and I hope you guys make these. And you know what else? I just had a thought. If you have a, um, like a cameo, um, silhouette cameo or a cry cut, a cry cut that will cut um, balsa wood, you could make, they would be really thin, but you could also cut those out on there. So I'm Amy Green with Amy and Art Designs. Thank you so much for crafting with me. I am so glad you came and made these farmhouse tags. Let's do something silly. If you stayed to the end, drop a bow so I know you watched to the end and um, let me know what you wanna see next. I, um, as always, love crafting with you and I'm just so glad you were here today. You'll have a great day and I'll see you next week.